Beat Louise Simmons, I thought you were dead. Aunt Ethel! Mwah, mwah. Oh no, I'm very much alive. Thank you. And this full-grown girl must be your daughter. I've known you since you were a baby. I know. What's your name, dear? This is Myrtle, Aunt Ethel. Myrtle May, for the two sisters of her father. He's dead. That's what confused you. Where's Elwood? He couldn't be here, Aunt Ethel. Now, let me get you some tea. Elwood isn't here? No. Oh, shame on him. That was the main reason I came. I want to see Elwood. Come, there are loads of people anxious to speak to you. Do you realize, Vita, it's been years since I've seen him? No. Where does the tide go? But I don't understand it. I was saying to Mr. Chavonet only the other night, what on earth do you suppose has happened to Elwood Dowd? He never comes to the club dances anymore. I haven't seen him at a horse show in years. Does Elwood see anybody these days? Oh, yes, Aunt Ethel. Elwood sees somebody. Oh, yes. Your uncle, Elwood, child, is one of my favorite people. Always has been. Yes, I remember. Is Elwood happy, Vita? Elwood's very happy, Aunt Ethel. You don't need to worry about Elwood. Why? There's Miss Franks coming. Just came in. Don't you want to speak to her? My, but she looks ghastly. Hasn't she failed, though? If you think she looks bad, you should see him. Is that so? I must have them over. She looks frightful. I thought she was dead. Oh, no. Now, what about tea, Vita? Certainly. If you'll precede me, if you'll forgive me, I'll precede you. Elwood! Elwood Dowd! Bless your heart! Aunt Ethel! What a pleasure to come in and find a beautiful woman waiting for me. Elwood, you haven't changed. <laughs> come along, Aunt Ethel. You must have missed the party. There's much of you don't like tea. There's much of you don't like tea! <laughs> But I do like tea. Stop pulling at me, you two. Elwood, what ne next week can you come to dinner? Any night. Any night at all, Aunt Ethel. I would be delighted. Elwood, there's some mail for you today. I took it up to your room. Did you, Vita? That was nice of you. Aunt Ethel, I want you to meet Harvey. As you can see, he's a puka. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Mrs. Chauvinet? We always call her Aunt Ethel. She's one of my oldest and dearest friends. <coughs> hmm? Yes, yes, that's right. She's the one. This is the one. He says he would have known you anywhere. You both look lovely. Come on in with me, Harvey. We must say hello to all of our friends. I beg your pardon, Aunt Ethel, if you excuse me for a moment. What? You're standing in his way. Come along, Harvey. Uh-huh. You go right on in, Harvey. I'll join you in a moment. Aunt Ethel, I can see you're disturbed at Harvey. Please don't be. He stares like that at everybody. It's his way. But he liked you. I could tell. He liked you very much. Why, I... I, well, I think I'll be running along. But... I'm so sorry. Oh, I'll be talking to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.